you are watching the another episode of Uzbek Tales and I'm your host Vigeli Vaimadov. In this episode we are here one of the again remote unknown locations in Uzbekistan to be exactly here Tashkent region Ahangaran district Farakhtoy neighborhood we heard there is a block it's a spring it doesn't have any name it's just a block or spring we'll see what is inside let's go guys I heard guys there is a block which is spring and again and it's very very interesting that this block the spring doesn't have any name it's just a spring so we will see how it looks why it's here like you know they call it block and what is inside and I heard this is like an abandoned place right now a lot of trees around and water of course yeah block I think is over that way let's see what is here no one here I don't know maybe this is not too clean. maybe people are coming here very few times or sometimes maybe there is a lamp you know special day that they are coming here but now in the middle of fall this place looks like you know very really quiet very really abandoned and it's a little bit spooky if you came here in the evening especially last time whoa yeah there is a water okay right over there water is there okay so we'll go here uh-huh there is some abandoned structures, houses, buildings, and just few, you know, uh, local boys. They are following us. They are very interested. They think that we came here. We are from the TV or something. Yeah. Okay. I think this is the place where they are looking. Okay. This is the. I think this is the block, yeah. This is the spring. Okay, sure. Uh -huh. Let's go over that side. We'll go downstairs. Let's see. Is that a block or what? Okay, there is a special staircase. Mm -hmm. Wow, very ancient trees here. I don't know, like, Almost 100 years Okay. Water is coming from there. there. I think this is the block, right? Uzbekistan actually wherever there is a spring there is a, some kind of legend they are giving a name sometimes very fantastic spatial names I told you already about the Kainar uh, Gumbaz spring uh, and Karkaz Bulak spring and in Parpota there was also spring here also the spring but <laughs> very interesting thing is as I said guys it doesn't have any name, special name, it's just a spring, that's it. Yeah. I think there is a lot of water coming from over there. Go
Let's go upstairs. Guys, travel industry has a different tourism has a different, you know, uh, uh, license or something. Uh, one of them is called stalker tourism. Stalker tourism it means people sometimes some group of people they like to go to abandoned places like this. So I'm one of them. Uh, abandoned or spooky places. Uh, there is a lot of places in Uzbekistan actually. So this is I think one of them. Let's see this building. I don't know the history of this one, but maybe there is something. Ooh. I don't know. Let's go inside. I forgot to bring my headlights. Okay. I think I think it was a school. I think it's a, it was a school, yeah. What is school? Rooms is very small. Maybe some government building. Wow, just look outside. Wild, wild nature over there. Yeah. Okay. Local, local boys are there following us. They are very interesting. Now they are annoying. <laughs> okay, here. It's very dark. I don't know what to do in that room. Yeah, this building was or the school or the sun. Like they use it for medical purposes, I think. As a hospital or something. I don't know. Ground. Set up. Just look at here. Wow. When they build it and how long they use it and when. People left this place, I don't know. Yeah, this is the history. This is the ready set location for the, some kind of horror movie. Yeah. If you put something here, additional light, you know, elements, that's it. it it's ready, you can shoot any movie here. Okay, we'll go outside and let's see other parts of this place. Yeah. Okay, this door is closed, the main door is closed, so we enter on the other door here. Okay. This one also like, I don't know, minimum 50 or more than 50 years old minimum, yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go this way. I think here. Yeah, still using it or what? Okay. This one is locked. Here, let's see. Here. It 
was a kitchen here. You can see it. the cutleries or they cook something here also this is the kitchen Something. Maybe this was a, a summer camp during the Farmer Soviet Union. There was a lot of summer camps for the kids, and maybe this was one of them. Yeah. Let's go this side. And after Soviet Union collapsed, a lot of this kind of. Uh, places or infrastructures they were abandoned they become useless yeah now let's see this trees are creating some microclimate it's very good weather here very good microclimate it's cool today is little bit warm weather but here you cannot feel it. It's very cool, very quiet, and no one except us. Okay, yeah. I think this was a yes. It was a garden camp for the kids. Okay. away there is a residence they are living here okay it's a neighborhood wow it's in there I think who those is interested for the stock of tourism they like this kind of places White, abandoned, mysterious, and no one, and unknown, of course. Wow, this thing is bad. I don't know why. Okay, here also the same, I think. I can imagine like 50 years ago this place was so lively there was so many people especially kids especially in the summer they're playing they're making a lot of noise yeah 
this place had its prime time like 50 years ago and now that's it it's dead it's over i'll show you another thing it's a very interesting artifact it's uh, located also in this village but not right here we will go like one kilometer up to the another village it's called Tut so we will go to Tut village we will see there very something very interesting thing let's go that's it so now we are here uh, it's uh, just at the edge of Parachtoy village we are approximately one kilometer away from the Bulov so I told you guys there is something and this something is I'll give you some information before I'll show you this one there is a thing which is called Petros Hamato glyphs around the world what does that mean? Petra it's a stone Somato it's like a body it might be human body or animal body doesn't matter and uh, glyph it's uh, like a rock carving so it's a footprint most of times or the other uh, part of the bodies uh, which is carved into the stones so there is a lot of footprints around the world and almost in every country every region and here in Ahangara region also there is a one Petrosamato glyph and locals they call this Petro, uh, Petrosamato glyph like footprint Hazrat Bua footprint in Uzbek language it's Hazrat Bua called but in English it will be like uh, there is a person uh, he's not um, he's mentioned in the Quran but, but not by name I think it's in the Surah al kahf if I'm not mistaken so there is uh, he's mentioned by the uh, like this like a, a green one or the verdant one I cannot remember right now but uh, al khazar so in Arabic al khazar so people are saying locals residents are saying that there is a footprint of al khazar so let's see how it looks it's here this is the one guys so this is the footprints I so yeah this is the pump over there and I think approximately I don't know 40 48 I think it's a size so so as per the legend this is his footprint and he's going just over that side I think yeah it looks like this yeah so he's going over that side so like this kind of Petro Samata glyphs uh, one of them is one of the famous things is in Sri Lanka I know that in Saudi Arabia city of Mecca there is near to the Kaaba actually there is a one Petra Samata glyph it's called Maqam Ibrahim in Arabic language so uh, Prophet Ibrahim uh, while he was building the Kaaba and while he's putting the stones to the walls uh, he just stayed on the top of the rock and his footprints left over there so they put it as a you know like an artifact relief so this one also almost like this so of course uh, we cannot say that yeah this is real but as per the legend uh, this is it's his footprints uh, there is no written information about this so that's why we cannot be sure is that a footprint first of all or the um, if it is footprint how it got there and where is another one and how old it is yeah there's a lot of questions about this footprints this is the first footprint which i'm showing you guys in uzbekistan but inshallah later on i'll show you another footprint i'll show you uh, later on there is a spoiler alert something like this I'll show you the dinosaur footprint also, but later on more in this episode, in another episode. So, 
this artifact or this ruin also still unknown only locals they know about this place uh, it's not um, the main touristic road so guys whenever you are here i recommend just visit this footprint and the block very quiet abandoned place so i think for this episode it's enough so let's see guys another episodes bye bye